Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! What about your finances? What is the system you have in place for budgeting? There are some of us today, respectfully speaking, with what you are earning per month, in all fairness and in all sincerity, you may not be earning the whole world, but there are certain needs you should not have if there were a system in your life that some of you still go to borrow money and beg from certain people who are by far less earners than you simply because their life is more systematized there are certain kinds of birthdays you should not be doing not with the kind of money you are earning no you are not yet there there are certain kinds of respectfully speaking society living that should not be not with the kind of money you are earning as God lifts you, you can adjust your lifestyle to suit the growth. But the pressure of society. There are people who can go to a restaurant and millionaires are spending 100, 200,000 because their businesses will return back that money that night. But you who, even if it's favor that came to you, favor is maintained by wisdom. You also join and, and spend 200,000 naira that night. And you go back, they are sleeping and you cannot sleep. hallelujah look up how about ministries there are ministries that may not have the budget to be doing certain things they are doing respectfully speaking this is with love to the body of christ for many years in this ministry we limited the things that we did because of the future and we knew that there will be times for capital projects and serious finances will be needed but there will be need for management to cut away excesses and thank god for that wisdom today at the level he has brought there is nothing we want to do that we cannot do it didn't just happen by favor alone through wisdom a house is built is someone learning now there are people today when you see them you will think they have estates but in truth they do not have a single house of their own why they have been earning a lot of money i'm a giver but let me teach you the truth even giving must be guarded with discretion and wisdom just because god mandates that we give does not mean we should be careless some of you are emotional givers it's not just revelation somebody god can provide you one million naira and maybe in your state or your area it can buy even if it's a plot of land and you can just sit in church hearing me preach now and say this man Kai, and you carry the one million now if god led you no problem but that you just stand up emotionally do you know there are people who have given to this ministry and called the finance department sincerely i'm not mocking them later on that they made mistakes and please is there a way i, I mean it i'm not joking for some of you when when they call maybe in your various assemblies or in any meeting they call for a vow or they call for giving you see your colleagues and your contemporaries come out and out of sheer carnality and pressure not the leadership of the spirit how many of you can give 10 10 million here and what the holy ghost is restraining us mm -mm. you are owing you are still paying you have not paid your children's school fees now i'm a giver i've taught you giving there are many people today who even run away from churches because they vowed vows that they cannot pay. You went to three churches and pledged 10, 10 million and all the men of God know you. You are running away, your children are running away. It was needless. Systems. Most people don't prepare their offering before they come to church. It is when they see the person who is who is a package of tithes and offerings they just check and look at everything that's why you are not growing financially this is the balance you can't give god peanuts and check what is here one thousand you return it back 500 you return it back 100 naira you return it back 50 naira you return it back then you carry the bad one and just squeeze it and drop and then you are laughing and god is saying i'm seeing your heart 
you ate in a restaurant before coming to church you spent ten thousand and you came and dropped 50 naira i don't mean to be a bearer of bad news but you will not grow that way where your heart is there your treasure will be how about a system for savings do you know why pension scheme works aside from corruption and other things do you know why it works i will tell you because there is an automatic system to, de to deduct from your salary is that true all through your lifetime if they gave you all the money and say be depositing it yourself only one percent of the people who receive pension today will have it they know that there is a limitation in all men so they created a system out of it so that after 35 years of service out of that maybe added to it maybe you haven't put it in some investment account with the little gain there they can now be blessing you with it for the rest of your life there must be a system to save some of you if you calculate all that god has brought to your life today january somebody gave you one million for happy new year somebody gave you five million someone gave you two hundred thousand someone gave you three hundred thousand during your birthday you got 10 million you have carried like 30 million how much do you have now Fifteen thousand. it's carelessness Do you have a system in your life for replenishing listen to my financial series do you have a system in your life do you know there are many people who enjoy birthday parties there are many people who enjoy anniversaries and when it's time for their children's school fees they literally stand stranded and do you know why nobody helps them because the impression they have given is that i am comfortable you can't call us for a meeting and spend 30 million and be asking for 500,000 for your child. It does not add up. When people know you are genuinely in need and you demonstrate it by diligence to what God has already given you, people will be very quick to support you. I tell you this. There are times people come to me, respectfully speaking, to ask for help. And I look at them. I look at what they are wearing. I calculate at least with my mind look at what this guy is wearing look at the kind of car he came out from and then he stands arrogantly and he said i don't know somebody said i should come and meet you i don't know. and i said no this this man is not worthy of help if you help them maybe just pay to the school and help the children but not because of the person wastage there are people driving cars today that are by far bigger than their levels you have a car respectfully speaking of 50 million 40 million and you don't have a house it's, it's not it's not a wise calculation everybody says systems you may not like me this night but I love you who we'll soon pray you came to church you should live wiser some of you there are some money that should have come to you God delayed it until you hear this message because if that money had arrived last week with all the prophecies I've been giving you God, God has allowed you now because he wants you to now that it comes with this wisdom those friends that used to call you has it come you tell them listen listen to koinonia message part three striving for mastery manage your passion for celebration and some of these excessive things let God build you and you can have to do anything and even give Are we together? You must build a system to manage your health and your wellness. This is a very powerful one. There are homes today, respectfully speaking, who, who do not have any kind of first aid structure. God forbid, should anything happen to someone in that house, even if it is Panadol that is needed, someone will have to book an Uber. It is carelessness. I am sorry, but just, just receive it from me this night. Is carelessness there must be a provision in place do you know you are given only one body per lifetime I have taught you maintaining it is your responsibility and you must create a system around it you must create a system on how to access rich food vitamins and supplements if you want to and then scriptures for your health I have scriptures you know several men of God across the body have done several beautiful scriptures that speak about your health and your wellness 
I listen to it every time because I intend to live long. And Jesus said, we live by bread and by words. Hallelujah. I made up my mind one time that I was going to, you know, I was going to build a, a gym just for fitness. And um, <laughs> don't laugh. You've not even heard the story. It will make me always look like a, I'm a comedian. Listen, do you know that I now said they should look for a gym instructor, a coach for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they went and brought one fine young man who really respects and honors me. I was inside when they said he had arrived. I said, okay, let him just go to the gym and wait for me there. When he went there and I saw the guy, I said, did I tell you people I want to box and learn? This guy was built and looking like he could pick me. I said, what is he here for? To build me? No. It is such as you have that you give. I'm not interested. No, no way. That's not my assignment. It's not in the blueprint of my destiny. My assignment is just to be healthy. Any other thing greater than my strength, I depend on the Holy Spirit and military people. Thank God he has surrounded me with so many generals, they can help me. Ah, that gentleman was built. He now showed me videos of him doing exercises. He was using chains. Chains. Hallelujah. But the point is this. Look at me. If you don't take care of your health, you will die. I'm not confessing negatively. Believe me when I tell you, if you don't take care of your health, is there a system in place? Apostle, I collect 200,000 naira per month. You can discuss and allocate something for healthy living. It is true. It's a discipline we must learn in the body of Christ. Don't allow taking care of your health be an emotional thing. The day the pain becomes overbearing. Some of you, you live in pain every day. You are used to it. And these are signs that continue in your body for 10 years. Medical science will tell us that most conditions that destroy people can be managed if you were dealt with in its infancy. Do you agree with me on that? Hallelujah. I'm a man of faith or I'm a man of the spirit. But the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. I need to live long for the sake of the assignment. We are not afraid of death, but we know that we need to live long to finish that which God has given to us. Are we together? I'm saying this thing so that you will go back home. Don't just say, I attended Koinonia and I laughed. No, go back and sit down. For some of you, you may start this. You need to start putting a good system to have clean drinking water in your house. You are too blessed to be taking the kind of water you are taking. It's pure carelessness. It's just that you've not paid attention to it. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.